On this video, I'd like to offer a healing transmission. This is something that I haven't done on video before, but for 10 years, I was healing people in a, in a kind of an interesting, really remarkable way to me. I knew nothing about this when it started. I had no interest in it. I think if I'd heard that this was possible, I would have been very skeptical and not believed it at all. But somehow, it did start happening, you know? And when it happened with the first person, it was so amazing. This like chronic illness of 20 years that was healed in, you know, less than an hour. 20 years of, of working with doctors and different kinds of healers. And in, in, you know, it really was not more than a half an hour, the healing had already begun and it kept continuing until this woman was healed. It was amazing. So it just continued on like that for 10 years. I never advertised for it. I never really did anything to, to draw attention to it. But for whatever reason, I kept meeting people, you know, just randomly in the line at a supermarket who would start telling me about these illnesses that they had. And I would say, perhaps I can help and then we would do this healing. Now, I want you to understand, it's very important to understand this, and this is what I was taught in the process of doing the healing, that I have nothing to do with it. I have nothing to do with it at all. The only thing I do is I get completely out of the way. The reason that this healing works is because we humans are not living in a natural way. This is what creates our illness. We're not living in a natural way. If we look at wild animals, they live in a natural way and they don't have the health problems that we do. We have pharmacies, a huge business of what we call healthcare, which is really just treating illnesses and, and hospitals and all kinds of medical specialties for treating illness. I mean, if we, to be honest, we're a very sick society. And the reason is because we're not living in a natural way. We're not living as what we are, as what we truly are. And that's what this healing helps to do. It helps to open up and help for at least the short time that this is happening to be open to this healing that's always here, that's always here for you, that's in your own body. But because we're not living in a natural way, we're blocking it. We're preventing it from really expressing itself. And that's where this illness is coming from. Because we're not living in a natural way, we're not living as we truly are, illness happens, sickness happens. And it's, you know, we don't understand this, but it's a message for us to live in a more natural way and discover what we truly are. This is something that I found in healing I don't know how many people, hundreds, that they weren't living in a natural way and to help them live in a more natural way created the healing. But this opens us up to this experience, which is a wonderful experience of feeling what it's like to live in a natural way, what it's like to live as we truly are. So I'd like to offer this to you today on video. I've never done this before. We'll see if it works. And if it does work, this is something that you can keep and watch at different times to help you with whatever you need healing with. You know, it would, it's a wonderful thing to do that. This is not, again, this is not about me. This is not a transmission that I'm transmitting an energy to you. This is me introducing you to the energy that's already in you, that's already in you and all around you. This energy is the pervasive energy of what we could call the life force. So none of us would be alive without this life force energy. If you've ever been with somebody in the process of dying, when they actually die going through this transition, you see that at some point the life force energy is gone. And as soon as it's gone, that person is dead. It's very tangible. You can feel the life force energy in them and you notice that even more when it's gone. By the absence of it, it's such a remarkable difference that you can feel so strongly. At one point there was a living being and then at another point the body is like a, you know, like an, a block of old driftwood. You know, it doesn't have that life force energy in it and it begins deteriorating very quickly at that point. So this life force energy is what keeps us alive. It's what tells the cells to you know grow and die and new cells to be born it's what it's what works our heart and our immune system you know we think doctors think that we're controlling a lot of this but it's this life force energy that's doing it something that can't be seen so because it can't be seen we can't scientifically measure it so we don't really believe in it but this is true and i hope you'll feel this 
from this transmission that you'll feel this life force energy that is always in you and you'll stop resisting it because the resisting of it is what creates the illness. Living in an unnatural way resists this life force energy that's always here for us, that's continuously here in everything, not just, you know, in inanimate things too, as well as like rocks, you know, dirt. Everything has this. The sun, water, this is pervasive, this life force energy. It's not just in living beings, it's in all beings. It's throughout the entire universe. You know, we could call it God. But let's call it for now life force energy because this will help you in the healing. It'll help you allow this to come in. It's not a mysterious thing as you'll feel. Okay, so to begin with, I allow more of this energy to come into me. You know, I just open to it. And what happens is notice this in yourself. As I'm experiencing this, I'm going to describe this to you, to what you can experience yourself. If you open to this in your crown chakra that's right at the top of your head, your crown chakra, if you notice in an infant, you know, a newborn baby, that part of their skull has not gone together, has not, you know, come together yet. So there's a, a gap there. And in that gap, you can watch the heart beating. It'll just be pulsing. You can see the heart beating. So as we get older, our skull comes together and, and that soft spot is gone, right? The soft spot, we call that in an infant. So that's gone, that's healed over. But this energy isn't stopped by anything. It's not stopped by our skull. It passes through anything. It's pure energy. Nothing can really stop this except for our resistance to it. Our resistance doesn't allow as much as is available. It cuts down a lot of that, and that's why we have illness, this resistance that we have in our body and our minds. So in this transmission, I'm just going to help you allow this to open. So if you imagine this through your crown chakra, the top of your head, where the soft spot is in, in a baby, I want you to just feel this light coming into you. I see it as pure white light. So just allow this white light to come into you. It is your own life force energy, the life force energy of the universe. It only means the best for you, the highest benefit for you. And it has an infinite intelligence to do this. The entire universe works because of this. So allow this to come in. Stop resisting it as much as you naturally do. And allow this life force energy to come in through your crown chakra. Filling your head area, your face, the back of your head, your whole skull, your brain. Filling all of your head. Imagine it coming in like, like milk, you know, just dripping into you, like pouring into you, pouring into you through this. So filling your whole head. The feeling of this is unconditional love. The visualization of this is light white light and the feeling of this is unconditional love. This is just what it is. So put your imagination on that. If you can open to this and you'll be in alignment with what is actually happening. So surrender to this. Allow this. You want unconditional love, right? So just allow this to come into you. Don't resist it. Don't try and think of what it is. It's not something that you can really think. It's beyond thinking. It's truer than that. So allow this to pour into you like milk, just pouring into you this white light, this energy. It isn't a liquid, it's energy, but you can imagine it just sort of descending into you, filling your entire head, just completely filling it, going into your shoulders and fill it, filling your neck and your shoulders, going down your arms into your fingertips, feeling that life force energy. Now at some point it may stop for a while and not continue on. That's because it's working on that area. That's because for whatever reason that area needs you, needs to be worked on. It needs some healing. It needs some, it needs to let go of resistance so this healing can happen there. And it can happen anywhere. I mean, it could happen in the head and not even get down to the neck. So don't worry about that. Just let it do what it's doing. Just let it do what it's doing. It has infinite intelligence. 
and it knows what's in your highest benefit, more than your mind could possibly know or any doctor, this knows. This is the life force energy of the universe, which you've never been separate from. So now just allow more of it to come. Allow the full amount to come in that you've been resisting before without unintentionally. But now that you put your intention on allowing it to come in, it will come in. More of it will pour in because this is a natural way. Your resistance to it is unnatural. When you stop resisting, you come into the natural way and that means so much more energy, so much more of this life force energy pouring through you. And you can imagine it coming through your crown chakra and pouring into you. So as it goes past your shoulders, all the way down to your fingertips, through your upper back, through your chest, your heart, your lower back, your stomach. Allow it to pour into you. And don't worry if it's not going as fast as I'm saying. You know, in you. It may be working on some other part of you. It may be working in your heart. Maybe if you have an injury in your shoulder, it may be working on that. Just allow it to do what it does. Allow it to keep filling you. Going down into your hips, your upper leg, your knees, your shins, your calves, your ankles, your feet your toes, just allow it to pour into you. Allow it to pour into you. And do this with your eyes closed too, it helps. Allow this energy to pour into you, this universal life force energy, this healing energy. This is the source of all healing. This great feeling of complete unconditional love Allow it to fill your entire body, every bit of your body, and allow it to work on whatever part it needs to work on. Often if it needs to work on a part, it doesn't keep moving until it's completed that. So that's fine. That's a good thing. If it you know, stops at your chest level or it stops in your, in your stomach and it doesn't go down to your feet, it's good. It's working on that area. Let it do that. Be patient. You've been resisting and creating illness in some part of your body for a long time. And although this works extremely quickly, be patient for it to work. Whatever you're feeling, it's for you. It's for your benefit, whatever you're feeling. So allow this to happen. And as it heals more, it will eventually move through your entire body filling your whole body. And as it fills your whole body, feel that there's so much pouring into you like a waterfall of light that it will spill out past your body, past the boundary of your body, just spilling out into the world to healing other beings. This is how it works. And the more you overflow with this light, the more you overflow and you allow this to come out and heal other beings, the more healing you'll be. There's a very interesting thing is I can't do this healing on myself. I can only do it for others. I've tried at times if I needed something to do this healing on myself, but I can't because that's part of the obstacle and resistance is this sense of a self. So when I do it for others, I'm out of the way. And the light just moves through me completely and fills me completely. And a lot of healing happens in me with my intention of healing another. A lot of healing ends up happening with me, but I have no intention of having it, my own healing when I'm doing this. And yet it happens this way. When my attention is for my own healing, it doesn't happen. It's really interesting. It doesn't happen when I attend it for myself. But right now, because I'm introducing this to you, it's fine that you intend for this healing to happen for you, that you allow this to happen for you, but let go of your thoughts about what that healing is, because this is so much wiser and more intelligence than, than any of our thoughts could ever be. 
So you have to just let go and trust that this has infinite intelligence and that you don't, that your limited mind does not have infinite intelligence. It's quite limited. So let go of your thoughts and let this do what it does. Let this heal you. There's so many ways that we need healing, not just physically, but emotionally, psychologically, in our consciousness, our illusions and delusions, the delusion of being a separate self that creates all this resistance. Above everything else, that needs healing. That's the cause of all our suffering. And this can heal that too. We surrender to this fully. Let this light fill you. So your whole body just becomes a radiant white light. Your whole body is just unconditional love. Pouring into you and pouring out of you. This is infinite. You're not going to run out of this. <laughs> There's no running out of this. There's an endless, endless flow of this. And it is everywhere always. Now, I, with this imagination, with your imagining this and letting this go, you're accepting what is always here. Your body has always been this radiant light, this unconditional love. This is your nature. All the happiness you've ever looked for is your nature. It's always been here as what you are. The peace that you seek has always been here as what you are. The love that you seek has always been here as what you are. You are unconditional love. This energy that you feel pouring through you and filling your body is what you are, what you've always been. And by doing this, by opening to this and allowing this to be, you feel your true self. You come into alignment with your true nature and you begin to live in a natural way as what you truly are beyond these conditioned thoughts that are creating your suffering. The thoughts say that other things are creating your suffering, other people, other situations, but that's not true. That's never been true. And if you open to this light, you will see that you're already complete. You've always been complete. That all of life is already perfect. It's always been this way. Hmm. Just allow this light to flood through you. And wherever it's spending more time, it's drawing your attention to a place that needs healing. And wherever that is, don't resist. Give that area love. That's what it wants. It wants you to stop resisting and love that part of your body. To see whatever you're feeling, any discomfort as a gift, a gift of love. So open to it fully and the discomfort will go away. It's here for your benefit. This is an amazing healing. So many people have been healed by this and it's so simple. It's only introducing them to their own healing, their own healer. It has nothing to do with me. I'm only introducing you to your true self, which has always been perfect. And it knows exactly how to heal you and always has. 
But when we use our mind and our conditioned thoughts, we feel that we're not this, that we're limited, that we're not perfect, that we need so much and that we can find this outside in people or situations. This is an illusion because what you're seeking you already are. And when you feel filled with this light, if you can just accept that this has always been here. Yes, you've been resisting it, so there hasn't been as much. But if you open to it now, you'll feel the full amount of your true nature, the full amount of energy, the full healing ability that you have and have always had. Thank you, my friend. Because I'm offering this to you with my intention for you, I'm filled with light, filled with this unconditional love, as I always have been. But my attention is on here and there's no resistance at all. It's just pouring through me, radiating through me. And in this way, this body becomes a light body a body of love, which it always has been. But like you, I have some resistance in here, maybe not as much as you. <laughs> I've been working on this for a while. I've been surrendering to this for a while, and it has been teaching me this for a while. But still some. And when I have the opportunity to share this, to offer this. I'm filled with this. So it's of great benefit to me, as I've learned over the years, that giving and receiving are the same thing. And we have control over giving. We don't have control over receiving, getting things from people or the world. It comes or it doesn't come. But we can always give and if we truly understand what giving is and receiving is, we realize that giving is receiving. We feel the same when we're giving as it when we're receiving. You know, the giving and receiving are not two separate things. And the truest healing that we have is when we give healing to others, when we share our joy and not keep it for ourselves, but share it out to the world, like Tonglen, to give out our heart, to give out our love. We're returned tenfold when we do this. This is the secret to getting. <laughs> Giving is the secret to receiving. It's not trying to get more. That never really works because we have this idea that we're incomplete. When we share and give, we realize that we've never been separate, that we're one with the whole universe which means we're filled with abundance. And as this life force energy, you feel this coursing through you, flowing through you and healing every part of you. You realize your unlimited nature, that you're not missing anything, that this life force energy has always been here for you, as you, eternally giving and receiving. Thank you, my friend. I hope you enjoy this.